Hey guys, it's your girl Bianca B and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to do a sit down video. Um, I thought it was necessary to talk about this and things that's going on in my life and it's kind of like a life update from this year and goals for my YouTube channel and I know I've been slipping on videos but I'm going to explain why in this video and what is going on in my personal life. So kind of just want to get straight into the video. Okay, so this year and everything that's been going on with me, I decided to do a natural makeup look with no lashes. Um, today I went to this brunch. It was a women empowerment brunch and it opened my eyes to a lot of different things and I kind of just want to dive right into this year and goals for 2019 and what you can expect from me and what you can expect from me on my channel. Okay, so we're gonna kind of recap this entire year. I haven't had a really good year in a very long time, and so this year, so many different things happened in my life. Uh, I started out with a boyfriend in New Year's, and uh, we had a really great relationship. I know you may have seen clips of us, a little bit of him and there in the beginning of this year, and we were really good friends. We unfortunately uh, did not last because we both were going through things in our life. He also moved, but we were really good friends. We still are really good friends. And that relationship lasted for about two months, two and a half months. And um, it was a great start to the new year. He respected me. We had so much fun together. And like I mentioned, just things in life just didn't work out. Things didn't go as planned and he ended up moving. So, um, that's that so going into the new year i did so many speaking events and i'll put a few clips here and the first event i went to was in michigan this year and it was absolutely amazing uh detroit showed me so much love it was with ming lee and some really good other panelists and we talked it was a major a major big event in the city for women and I'm so honored and I thank you to Brittany Alexis for inviting me, flying me out, treating me with respect, her and her team and um, I had a really, really, really good time and I met some amazing women. So January was crazy lit. Um, going into February, I traveled with Mobile Growth Summit. I had worked with them last year so I was very honored for them to bring me to San Francisco with them. For their events, I met some amazing young men and women there who I worked with and we had a really, really good time. And uh, Mobile Growth Summit, if you are into tech, you should definitely check them out. Um, just go to mobilegrowthsummit.com. They travel all over and it's a really good event. And if you can make the San Francisco one, that is the one that is the most busiest. It's, it's, it's packed. So if you are in mobile tech, I highly recommend you go to their event. Uh, in March, I was flown out to, um, I went to San Diego with another company and um, I worked with them also last year and they invited me back and I traveled with them twice this year. Um, I went to Vegas with them as well and San Diego and it was an amazing event as well. Going into April, I did a speaking event for the Stylers panel. I had a really good time and thank you to Kira for inviting me and letting me speak on her panel. Uh, going into June, July, and August, um, I worked my ass off. I was working three jobs. Um, I was working for Stella Artois. I worked with them pretty much this entire year. I got paid really well. It was amazing. My schedule was amazing. And I had a really good time. The reason why I left the company was because they had switched management and um, I didn't like how management was going after the switch and they weren't paying me on time. So um, in order to survive, you have to get paid on time. <laughs> and for me, since I do provide for myself, I do live alone, um, I needed money. So it wasn't, they weren't paying me on time. So <laughs> that's the reason why I left the company. Um, but they, they, it was an amazing thing to do, brand ambassador work. If you've never done brand, brand ambassador work, I highly recommend you do brand ambassador work. It just puts you out there. You get to meet so many people. And I met a lot of people this year working with Stella. And um, 
I really enjoyed that job. I was financially set like this year. I was, I was good. I can say that I was good. I was able to provide for myself. And I also was working for a YouTube channel on the side freelancing for them as a writer and a voiceover person. And I was doing very well. And then life hits. So going into October, um, like I said, they, they stopped paying me on time and that affected me because in order to survive, you need money. Realistically, let's just be honest. And I ended up meeting someone working with Stella Artois and um, they, they ended up getting me a job with this company. And going into it, I can't, I can't really speak badly. But going into it, I thought it would be something different. And um, these past couple of months, the last three months of the year, I realized how much I love vlogging, YouTube, entertainment. Um, I realized that that is my passion. And when I step outside of that, I am no longer myself. Um, I'm trying to get emotional. But I'm no longer myself when I'm not doing videos. And I kind of neglected my channel these past three months. I neglected. Um, my second book was supposed to launch actually on my birthday. And... Um, I'm not gonna cry but I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry and I feel like I disappointed myself because it was a goal of mine this year to put out plot plan and slay and another project and I let these past three months I really let um I let money control me and I will not go into that in the new year and although you need money to survive your happiness is the most important thing in the world um, I know there's a lot of people who are in positions and doing things that they don't love and I've always told myself I would never get to that point where I will not do what I love. And going into the new year, um, my book will be out in January. And it kind of works out perfectly because my last book was released in January. So um, I feel like maybe it was meant to happen this way so it can align the way it needs to But yes, the book is pretty much done um, It has to go with the editor for one more round and we can publish it in January I'm mainly focusing back on my brand Making videos creating content because that is honestly where the most happiest I am um I am someone who's always been consistent and these last three months I was not consistent and I was very disappointed in myself. One thing I am grateful for this year though is that I do have a trainer and I've lost a lot of weight and um, my health is very important to me but also this has to be important and this. And for me, um, hosting, videos, entertainment is what I love. And I am no longer going to do things that don't involve that. Um, I just saw results when I was focusing on entertainment and doing this. And this is what I love. And nobody can take that away from me. People can say whatever they want to say. But videos have been a part of my life. Um, interviewing people has been a part of my life. And... I'm never going to stop doing that. I'm never going to allow um, money to get in the way of my dreams. <sighs> so, 
2019 and what you can expect from me my new book and interviews this week I have a really big press event um, and I'm so excited because I'm gonna be back on red carpets and I'm not gonna let money stress me out I'm not gonna do stuff that does not satisfy me internally despite what family have to say despite friends and um, I'm very honored to go into this new year with new things when you put your all into something the money will come and I'm gonna go into this new year not caring I'm gonna be relentless and do everything that I said I wanted to do in 2005 I mean being 25 now I'm 25 I just turned 25 November 17th and I want to go into this new year like doing exactly what I want to do and not listening to other people and that's what I want to do going into 2019 I'm so excited my mentor is flying into town next month uh, my friend is flying into town this month my friend Kobe I haven't seen him since my birthday um, so I'm excited to see him um, I'm spending time with my family this year for Christmas and um, yeah I'm going to be um, very happy with myself this year and if you guys are wondering because so many people have been hitting me up and speculating about this so I'm gonna address it here because I get DMs about it and for friends um, I am seeing someone, um, we've been dating since July, the end of July, and it's been rocky. <laughs> it's been rocky. No, it hasn't been rocky, but we're, we're in the stages of getting to know each other, and this is the first person I have to say ever where it's like, dang I really really like this person and um, he's very supportive um, about my career path um, even we were FaceTiming today and he was just like go ahead record your videos and um, that's what you need you need somebody who's going to support you period in, in your dreams and um, he understands where I'm coming from as far as uh, the corporate world versus entertainment and so I'm very happy um, even though we got into it today but we get into it every day but <laughs> um, yeah I'm very happy I as far as like as far as the career stuff like I'm very happy I can say that I can say that and um, we'll see what the new year brings and if I'm in a relationship I am if I'm not I'm not um, but I think I think I will I think I think we attach to each other <laughs> but yeah so those are my goals for 2019 comment below what are your goals make sure you guys follow I'm gonna put the brunch that I went to today I'm gonna put their Instagram right here or um, in the description box and make sure you guys follow them to know um, when their next brunch is in LA if you are here and I'm excited for the new year I traveled a lot this year which was a goal of mine I traveled every month but June and uh, June and September did I travel in September no June June was the only month I didn't travel in November I didn't travel in November but um, I'm excited for what the new year has to bring and the life lesson I've learned is don't let money control your dreams and um, I'm the definition of, you know, just trying to figure it out. You guys have been on this journey with me for years. Um, I've been through a lot of jobs. Um, the jobs I actually like, like, they've always been temporary positions. So that sucks. But this life, life has a journey. You go through many phases in your life, but I know that film makes me happy. I know being in front of the camera makes me happy. I know interviewing people makes me happy. I know writing makes me happy and just being a creative person makes me genuinely happy and that's what i'm gonna do this new year so make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter um snapchat make sure you subscribe to this video and i can't wait to see what 2019 brings for us 
um, my busy bees. I love y'all. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you've been watching my videos, I know I've been slacking, um, but I won't be slacking anymore. So I love you guys. Bye.